This is the world's cheapest electric pit bike, and we got our hands on the first one in the US. So let's check it out. Yeah, I'm on my own. I don't need no one. I don't, oh yeah. Now, before we jump in, my double bike giveaway is ending tomorrow night. So if you'd like to win my upgraded 72 volt Suron or a brand new Talaria Sting R, you can enter my giveaway in the description, but you have to do so by tomorrow night. So good luck. All right, this is the first E-Box 2.0 in America, and it's the cheapest electric pit bike in its class. So let's see how it rides. Let's turn the key, ooh, super cushy suspension. All right, it's on. Whoa, ooh, it's snappy. This is pretty quick off the line. Let's do a top speed run. They actually give you two control dials here for your responsiveness and your speed. I'm maxing them out. My phone will give us the top speed. Three, two, one, go. Full throttle. So apparently we went 29.1 miles per hour, which isn't too bad for the needle here. So later in this video, I am gonna upgrade the power. I'm gonna make this bike faster, and I'm also gonna put supermoto wheels on it. But first, let's see what we get out of the box. Here we are. So that was a two mile ride. It's beautiful, all the yellow flowers out right now. I'm at 89%. This is supposed to get 20 miles, so a two mile ride should be 10%. First impressions on the E-Box 2.0. Now, my first impression is the fact that you've got these controls under the seat. Putting the responsiveness all the way up, this thing is snappy, but it's, it's almost pure snap. It's like on or off. It is so overgrown. <laughs> my arms are just getting slapped. I've never seen it this deep. Look at this. <laughs> wow. The next thing I notice is the suspension. It is super, super comfy. You know, 30 miles an hour on the streets, not very much, but in the dirt, it's a great, great speed, especially for something this small. So it's got a 14 inch wheel in the front, 12 inch in the back, hydraulic disc brakes on both ends, full pit bike suspension. It's got a 60 volt, 18 amp hour battery, which makes it the same voltage as the Suron. And it has over half the capacity of the Suron, but it's pushing 2000 watts and it only weighs 90 pounds. I'm throwing a lot of these numbers out. Those are all pretty impressive, especially for the fact that this is the cheapest in its class. Now you could say, oh, well, you know, there's the Razer MX, which is under a thousand, well under a thousand dollars. This E-Box 2.0 being well under $2,000, it's 2000 watts, the Razer is 650 watts. So when I say it's the cheapest in its class, it's in a different class compared to the Razer. Once you start comparing it to bikes, even a thousand watts or more, not to mention 2000 watts, this is the cheapest in its class. This is my arch nemesis hill. When I'm on a small or relatively low powered bike, this is the ultimate test. Let's tear up this hill climb. Here we go, second try is the charm. Here we go, third try is the charm. Damn, that one hurt. <laughs> on the next one, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah, that's the that's the right mindset. Yeah, yeah, the next one you'll do it. There's not gonna be a next one, at least until I upgrade the power. But look, it got me most of the way up the hill, and for a bike designed for kids, I think that's impressive. Out of the box, being the cheapest in its class as an electric pit bike, I'm super impressed. It's got great suspension, great brakes, great wheels. 
great battery life. I'm only I'm still at 85%. It's got good power. It's just it's a good bike all around. And if you're a kid, I think it's a great great option especially on a budget. But now the question is, what about if you're an adult? So, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this and see how it rides for the big boys. First up, I'm cleaning the bike using my Charge PV waterless wash, which I designed to clean, polish, and protect all things electric. It's an absolute essential. I use it every day. And it's also how you enter the double bike giveaway, which is only open for another 48 hours. So if you'd like to win a Suron or Talaria, you can get up to 500 entries by trying Charge PV. Here I'm using my Charge PV tire cleaner. Get these puppies looking brand new. Now for the power upgrades. The E-Box 2.0 comes with a pretty decent battery and motor. So let's see how much we can push this bike with a new controller. This is the brain of the bike. And I got this kit from Electro & Co. It comes with everything you need to install it. You just gotta remove the fenders, take off the controller, unplug everything and the controller comes fully off. Now the only issue we had is the phase wires have these XT150 connectors which don't match the controller. So we just cut the heads off <laughs> and attached the appropriate connectors, screwed everything in and wired up the throttle. Here's the first test. Let's go! All right, we've got the Box 2.0 with the controller upgrade, which did come with a new three-speed throttle and on-off switch. But besides that, this is the exact same Ebox 2.0, but with a new brain. So let's see how it rides now. Starting the lowest power level, we're off. Okay, this is an immediate improvement. Before I use any battery, let's do a top speed run in the highest power mode. Full throttle, here we go. miles an hour GPS confirmed. That is a huge improvement. I am super happy with that. On a small, small bike like this, 41 miles an hour is pretty good. There's a cop, Let's see if he says anything. Nope. Being able to add 10 miles per hour to your top speed with only a controller upgrade is awesome. And it means that the motor and the battery of the box 2.0 are pretty good out of the box. If you want more performance, all you really need is a new brain. Now, when I'm talking about upgrading this bike, I don't think it's necessary necessary if you're a kid. If you're bigger or you really want some more power, then you really just need to throw on a new controller and you're already up to basically Suron speeds. Next up, I'm going to throw on some supermoto wheels, but first let's hit the dirt. Here we go. Back at the dirt, popping into full power here. Way faster. Wah. Wah. Oh, oh, oh. I just hit my head so hard. <laughs> oh. That was pretty gnarly. I went right into this bush, hit my head super hard right there. Shout out to helmets. This went right off the path. <laughs> This is the path, that's where I went. So that was an L. Let me add a little W to this video and conquer this hill climb with more power. Here we go, cue dramatic music. Yesterday, this hill posed the ultimate challenge and we failed, but today we come back stronger. Let's conquer it. Going into my highest power level. Three, two, one, go. Easy. Let's go! All right, we conquered the hill. I'm just realizing now I didn't tighten my throttle enough. It is not on there. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a dirt montage and then head back to put some supermotos on. Being the cheapest electric pit bike in its class, I'm impressed with the e-box, especially with the controller upgrade, which makes it faster and have better throttle control. I've taken quite a beating so far, but I'm not done yet. Let's throw on some super motos. Wow, let's go.
tight, we've got the Ebox 2.0 with the controller upgrade and now the Supermoto upgrade. Ooh, this feels so good with straight wheels. While the battery's full, let's do another top speed run, see if it makes a difference. That was exactly 41 miles per hour again. So changing to the Supermoto wheels did not affect the top speed, which kind of surprises me, kind of doesn't. These wheels are actually a little beefier. Supermotos on the street make a world of difference. If you intend on riding this on the pavement, you gotta go with Supermotos. This feels amazing. So this is the Ebox 2.0. It's the first one in America, but that means they're coming soon. So by the time this video is up, I think you should basically be able to order one yourself, which I have to recommend if you're on a budget, well, if you're a kid and are on a budget, out of the box, this bike gets everything you need. If you're an adult and you like upgrading, this is also a fantastic option to start with. Just the controller upgrade alone made a really nice difference. Let's see if we can wheelie this though. That's the ultimate question. Y yeah. Yeah, first try. Oh, wheelie's super nice. The uh, throttle improvement with the controller upgrade really makes this easier. I gotta say, with the stock controller, I wasn't even gonna try to wheelie it. It's so torquey that uh, it'd be challenging. I'm sure somebody can do it, but not me. Wow, this thing's so sick. And it looks so good with these fat Supermoto wheels. Man, wow. Oh, there's nothing like these little bikes. They are so fun. So like I was saying at the beginning of this video, there's only one day. Well, technically the giveaway is gonna close Sunday night. So if you're watching this on Saturday, you have until tomorrow night to enter my double bike giveaway. So if you'd like a chance to win a 72 volt Sauron and a Talaria Sting R, you can enter in the description below. Very few people have entered, which shocks me because those are the two best bikes on the market right now. A custom built 72 volt Sauron and a brand new Talaria Sting R. So if you'd like to win one, your time is running out. It's today and tomorrow is the last day you can enter. Good luck. If you're interested in the Ebox 2.0, which I think you should be, there should be links down below. Thank you so much for watching. As I do. Yeah.